Hello, Mary Lou! Prom Night 2 is a 1987 horror film directed by Bruce Pittman and starring Lisa Schrage, Wendy Lyon, Louis Fiera, Terry Hawks, Brock Simpson, Richard Manette, and Michael Ironside. If this movie was set in 2019, some asshole would have repurposed that trunk by now. It's prom night and Mary Lou stops by confession. I've never been to a confession, but is that standard form? It's Hamilton High in 1957, so unless they build a new school between 1957 and 1980, we have a continuity error. I've seen the original, and this isn't it. This 30-year-old guy is trying to play a senior in high school. Mary Lou sends Bill for some punch, and she fucking leaves. Bill discovers her in the back and confronts her while she's going for it. Wow! Whew! Terrorist attack in the bathroom averted. Well, it sure as hell's dead now, Pops. Bill takes a smoke bomb as Mary Lou is crowned prom queen. He drops the incinerary device, and you know what? I think she's really hot. Nope, that's not the same school as the first movie. But other than the name of the movie, the name of the high school, and Brock Simpson, that's all that this movie has in common with the first one. It's an 80s prom night, and Vicky wants a new dress. Denied. Her boyfriend Craig picks her up and helmets? That's not rebellious. Look at that waiter. You just filled the cup! So does that mean the potato clock gets Irish folk music? It turns out that Craig's dad is also the principal, and he is Michael fucking Ironside. Bill wants to discuss colleges, but Craig says, fuck that, I'm taking a year off. Yep, he's 18. That's reassuring. Da hair. Vicky goes to the old prop room and discovers the trunk, finding the crown and sash from 1957. Is it normal for a person to have a photograph of the girl they burned alive on the wall in their office? Hey, it sounds like they got the potato radio working. Talk to the hand. She gets it. Vicky finds Jess crying in the corner and learns that she's pregnant and the father is missing in action. Later that afternoon, Jess starts dismantling the crown and oh shit!
You tease! Talk about overkill. Meanwhile, at the church. Oh, he's the hump recipient from 1957. Nightmare on Elm Street should be filing a suit for having a funeral in this movie. Prom was a week away when Jess killed herself. So considering we're at the funeral now, you've already burned through that fucking week. Vicky then discovers Mary Lou's grave. Shirt, hair, all douche. What the hell? This portion of Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 is brought to you by Pepsi. Hey kids, let's try to rip off a Nightmare on Elm Street. Try the head cheese. That is an odd way to drink from a water fountain. Unless you're trying to get a close-up shot of someone drinking from the water fountain. Fifties. At Vicky's house, there's an awkward moment when she reveals to her parents that she is also taking a year off. Then she says, fuck it, and goes upstairs. I am shocked that she owns makeup. Look at this asshole forcing kids off the sidewalk. That worked? And this portion of Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 is brought to you by Diet Pepsi. Kelly throws a ball at Vicky and she is knocked into La La Land featuring the P.E. class from Hell. Principal Bill hears Vicky and goes to check the trunk and oh shit, it's open. If you're trying to hide stuff, Probably not a good idea to do it on school grounds. Vicky goes to confession. Oh, I'm so bored. Oh, those fucking scanners. Vicky works on a self-portrait in a room, dropping it, and oh, hi, Mary Lou. If I could design a bed that did that, civilization would cease to function. Liquid metal. To hell with corporate radio! Vicky goes back to the grave and hey, it's Father Cooper. Wow, that scene was completely useless. He's having an exorcism in his church? Then back to the grave only to get burned. The next day, Father Cooper goes to tell Michael Ironside what the skivvy is. Why? All she tried to do was fuck you. You didn't do anything. We get some exposition, but Bill calls bullshit and Cooper is tossed. More Diet Pepsi product placement. Kelly asks Josh to fake the prom queen voting results in her favor, but he wants something in return. Probably a blowjob, because this is the same guy that helped kill a girl in the first movie. Vicky digs up a 1957 high school yearbook, and then we discover what the hand said to the face. Better movie reference. Vicky goes to detention and gets pulled into a chalkboard, becoming possessed by Mary Lou. Then she goes back to confession.
Is that an option? Red Bull gives you wings. Where did she get 50s clothes? Meanwhile, in chemistry... Jesus! Man, it looks like he got a case of gonorrhea. In the locker room, Vicky gets called out, and damn, so much radio violence. We get some gratuitous nudity, and uh, a little awkward. Hamilton High hates fire codes. They play cat and mouse in the locker room, leading to this bad idea. At some point, Vicky puts a towel on, then she puts a squeeze to her friend. She then hooks up with Craig, and it looks like they're going to get it on. God damn! What? Oh, it was all a dream. Vicky stops by Bill's office for some advice. That's pretty conceited, Dad. It's open. Bill offers to help Craig, but is shot down. Yeah, you can do it yourself, but you can't even find your fucking shoes. So Michael Ironside gives him his shoes in the only way Michael Ironside would. Then Bill goes to dig up Mary Lou. Why? Surprise! Bill gets a gun and the crown as Josh gets blown for the title. Too bad it doesn't work. Welcome to what Reddit feels like. The conclusion of Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 is also brought to you by Diet Pepsi. Figgy is declared queen as Bill takes his usual kill position on the scaffolding. Holy shit! He didn't waste any time! Craig arrives and, oh, Vicky's dead. Mary Lou Barbecue rises from her pit and let's rip off the ending of Carrie. This is called Death by Neon. Mary Lou continues to become whole and Craig ends up hiding in the prop room. Now oh, come on, is that really Vicky? Nope, I have to wonder why Mary Lou even has to worry about doors. The trunk begins to suck Craig off, but Bill shows up and delivers the crown, followed by making out and an exploding tombstone. I guess the trunk puked Vicky up. Uh, sorry I shot you, I guess. Oh, no. I think those plates are a dead giveaway. Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2 is only a sequel in name only. The title, the high school, the tagline, it's not who you go with, who takes you home. And Brock Simpson are the only links between all four films. Yes, there are four of these things. Moving away from its slasher predecessor, this is like a mashup of Carrie and The Exorcist, with a little sprinkling of Nightmare on Elm Street thrown in. There are some good points to the film, making it not quite a forgettable sequel, but the ending just feels like they just ran out of gas at the end. It's not great, but it's not as bad as it could be.
Huh, I think something's going on. What the fuck was that? <laughs>